All right, now look in today's video, we got um some new shit going on with the world and shit like AI taking over. You know what I'm saying? So let's just tap in. <laughs> it and this week on this just in oh yo you already know it's lit it's lit it's lit so this company called Wiz labs right so <laughs> interestingly enough they've created something to where you can relive your memories imagine now this is why i uploaded this video like soon as he said that i'm like oh yeah this need to go on my youtube I'm like, this need to go on my YouTube, so yeah, let's tap in. Being able, right, to create a memory and then just relive that thing. Now, this reminds me of some freaky sci-fi stuff of people like, you know, putting their memories inside of these computer brains and things. This, like, when he soon as he said this, I'm like, bro, this remind me like that Rick and Morty shit. Like, what? And then I'm like, shoot, I want to get my whole reaction with y'all, you feel me? like that matter of fact the whole thing is weird well, i'm going to go ahead and roll the clip it's about to get lit man hey 2023 is about to get interesting uh year for sure Before we could feel him moving but it was very cool to see him moving he's very active now nah, watch this though remember. crazy yo what bro imagine bro like that's crazy because like say for instance like you know what i'm saying i guess that's a new app and shit you feel me you do your graduation or even you just doing a hug like a hug with your mom that'd be crazy freaky a lot of freaky science uh, experiment stuff going on, but you know, in the future, you know, I also I was gonna say I also heard uh, I also heard the FDA did not approve of Elon Musk Neuralink. So he doing all that research, all that money and shit. I don't know, maybe he got some things to to you feel me, but to fix and shit. But let's see. I don't know. <laughs> this technology is only gonna get better. All right. Nice. And yeah, people will definitely be reliving their memories, reliving their experiences. You know, a time at the theme park with grandma, a time at, you know, the house with the dog, a time with shit, a time with anyone. You know what I'm saying? A time with a loved one, a time with, you know, too. <laughs> I just know that, you know, there's going to be some dark uses of this technology, too. And um, hopefully uh, they just don't abuse it. Now on this just is. Hogwarts actually Bro, you know what I'm thinking of? Like say for instance, like shit. We don't even leave our house anymore. You know what I'm saying? To go to school, they somehow figure out how to live stream the teacher. You know the teacher got all cameras on her. You feel me? That way it ain't no teacher beating beating it ain't no in school shootings. You feel me? They just like everybody put their headset on. Alright, you gotta go to school. Put your headset on. And then they just take you through your whole day. You know what I'm saying? That shit crazy. Becomes one of Warner Brothers' top selling game. It's the best selling game right now. Doing over $850 million in sales. That's 12 million units. You know, there's only a few games that, you know, reach peaks like this. Well, one of those games being uh, one of my favorite games, which is Grand Theft Auto V. It hit, what is that? Like $10 billion in three days in three days for a video game it's insane um, that was I mean, the best selling game of all time it's, you know warner brothers top selling game it's the best selling game right now doing over 850 million dollars in sales okay. that's 12 million units you know there's only a few games that you know reach peaks like this well one of those games being 
uh, one of my favorite games, which is Grand Theft Auto Five. It hit what is that like ten billion dollars in three days? In three days for a video game, it's insane. Dang. That was the best selling game of all time. And then the other game that had this type of impact or output was Modern Warfare Two, which also did um about ten billion. I think that took like you know uh, okay. nine or ten days or something like that. But you know, interestingly enough, gaming is just. Bro, Call of Duty is loaded. They got ten billion off one game. What? Insane for today. Same thing with Rockstar. Like they loaded, and then you know they got the in-game purchases, the shot, car the shark cards and shit. And this advancements of where it's actually going. Now I've played this Hogwarts Legacy, and let me tell you, the storyline in here is extremely powerful. Like you know, I didn't even want to get off the game. I knew I had to wake up in the morning. You know what I mean, and come and do this show, but. I was playing this thing all last night, you know? Mm. So definitely, I would say check out this game. I am not going to say I'm the biggest Harry Potter fan, but I like this game. I like storylines and things with storylines. So I can see how a game like this would beat the hype and do 12 million units pushed. It's lit. You feel me? The game, uh, the, the companies did a great job of putting this thing together. All right. All right. Now, this just in. So is the DJ's job at risk? Yeah, interesting question. So Spotify is testing a uh, new AI DJ feature. And apparently this DJ knows exactly what you like. I mean, it studied you or at least the data that you've uh, given it. Now, what? I think this technology is quite interesting, say to speak, because imagine you in the kitchen, you're just doing your thing and, you know, a song comes on that you really didn't feel like hearing. That's associated with a memory. But uh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and play this thing on back real quick and see how technology is just taking over. Hey, Max, what's going on? I'm X, and from this moment on, I'm going to be your own personal AI DJ on Spotify. Let's go. Up next, I know you've been on a summer song kick lately, so I went back for some of your old summertime favorites. This see is if just it wild. Warms you up. Next up, some of the music you had on a lot back in 2018. Do you think of me? <laughs> Walking out there. All right, Max, let's get you out of your fields and switch up the vibe. You've been okay. in the dance music lately. I got this brand new release to get you moving. Introducing DJ, the best of Spotify made just for you on Tap Away. Powered by AI, delivered by me, your very own DJ. Now, you know, interestingly enough. Is that out? I should think that's a cool feature, though. You know, right. um, a DJ that's just mixing things for that you like. Like you said, let's take it back to the 90s. Let's take it back here. It's kind of like a playlist that's just. You know, doing playlist things, I do feel like the technology will be abused, like you know, usual. But um, I'm looking to see the advancements of this and where it's actually going. I feel like this is just the you know introduction of this AI DJ at Spotify. But you know, obviously, by the time we've seen it, this is just a rough copy of something that they have bigger plan. You know what I mean? All right, now this just is. Oh yeah, you know what that sound is? That's the sound of money. Now, Roblox, you know, <laughs> definitely a money grab. I was playing Roblox with my daughter the other day. And um, as I'm just walking around, I'm just running. I don't know how she kept getting back to the store. But I was in the store almost the whole time I was playing. I'm talking about everything I'm running into. It cost me something. I'm like, this is insane, right? But um, I'm really into the technology side of games. so. Roblox, just like Microsoft, has introduced this text to AI type of you know concept. But Roblox is, is a little more, I would say, um, like a GTA 5 mod menu. Now, if you guys know anything about those Grand Theft Auto lobbies, they can get toxic. Now, imagine giving five-year-olds the same Grand Theft Auto mod menu, except they can type this stuff in. So, you know, when a kid gets mad, he's like, oh, yeah, well, I'm going to make my car. Oh, yeah, bro, about to go in on you. So by the time he get finished describing that car, boy, <laughs> yeah, all I got to say is watch this video because it's about to get crazy.
Yeah. Now, you know, when I watched that video, the craziest part about that is this came from the official Roblox page. Nice. This isn't a mod. This is next level. But there was also a user who had used chat GPT to create some sort of script. And um, I'm going to go ahead and play this. A YouTuber, I'm going to go ahead and play it, right? He was using this weird script, and um, the script auto-corrected itself and made his game better. And we're about to watch that in action. Let's look at this. Look, it's in rotation and everything, right? And uh, this is all this, right? Right? But then look at this. Look at this. And AI made this. AI. It could take me, like, weeks to figure this out. It could take me months. But it's, oh, my, oh, my God, bro. All right, you want to know the funny thing? Um, if I click, you can tell that the part isn't actually based on the player. It's just, it's just, it's just like that, right? Now here's the funny part. I asked the AI if they could fix it. All right, let me just uh, paste it in there. Already, right, look at this. It, it fixed the problem. It, it's fixed. <laughs> just quit on programming. All right, now that video was in this weird script, and um, the script auto corrected itself and made his game better. And we're about to watch that in action. Let's look at this. Look, what is it's in rotation and everything, right? And uh, this is all this, right? Right? But then look at this. Look at this. And AI made this. AI could take me like weeks to figure this out. It could take me months. But it's, oh my, oh my God, bro. All right, you want to know the funny thing? Um, if I click, you can tell that the part isn't actually based on the player. It's just, it's just, it's just like that, right? Now here's the funny part. I asked the AI if they could fix it. All right, let me just uh, paste it in there. All right, ready? Look at this. It it fixed the problem. It it's fixed. Just Aww. quit on programming. All right, now that video was insane from Microfox. And you know, when I take a look at that video, just to see the inner workings of Chat GPT and what it can actually do, like it's programming video games. So we've watched an AI program itself in a video game. Now, obviously, these programs exist, but it was the self-correction. It was to see it's basically self-correct the error that it made. I think that's a, a great advancement for technology. You know what I mean? Now, hey, man, it's your boy, Ty. Definitely, you know the spot to get the hottest news because not only are we going to give it to you the hottest, I'm going to make sure that it's correct, too. I don't want to just uh, bore y'all with nothing as facts. I like to be thoroughly researched. Every Monday, make sure I catch a new episode. And let's get it popping. Okay. All right, y'all. So that's my boy Ty. Um, what I want to say about that is I. What is this? The legacy sesh new record. Okay. Wow. So I think this is actually pretty far. I think this is far what he bring into the table. Um, what I think about. The news and the AI and shit. I think like, bro, like, I think I need to start using more of chat GPT, trying to see how more I could implement that into my life. Um, bro, junk is getting crazy out here. Junk is getting crazy. AI is taking over, buddy. It's, it's taking over in front of our very eyes. All right, let's get it.